Hey guys, my name is Jess and welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to talk to you guys today about a question that I get asked frequently on my social media accounts and that question is, what is my weight loss intentional? I never really know how to answer it because it's not a simple yes or no question for me. It requires more information and more background on me to answer that question. So with that being said, I'm going to take you guys back to 2017 and fill you in a little bit on how I got to where I am today. I found a term called body positivity and it was all about accepting your body and loving your body how it is, uh, not having to change for society standards of beauty, throwing away the diets, you know, loving everything as it is which I loved. I loved seeing plus size women just embrace their bigger bodies and, you know, love the things that I hated about myself. I thought, you know what, if they can do it, I can too. So I did a little bit of research and I bought my first body positivity book and it is called Things No One Will Tell Fat Girls uh, by Jess Baker. I'm going to link it in the description below if you are interested in body positivity. Um, I highly recommend this book. It's a really easy read and full of facts, which I love. Um, I'm not the smartest person with reading, so I need simple-ish books and this, uh, this one was perfect. But after reading that book, I decided I am done with diets. I don't want to diet anymore. I'm happy with how I looked. I felt free from diet culture for the first time in so long and that's been my mindset since then. So we're gonna fast forward to 2019 and this is when I bought my poll and I didn't buy it because I wanted to lose weight. I didn't buy it for fitness even. I just bought it because it looked fun and for one I was right it was fun but it was an insane amount of work but January 2020 came, I found my groove, and I started getting really consistent with it. And by March 2020, we were in COVID lockdown. So it was a couple months of no seeing people, no friends or family, and I was pole dancing a lot. I sometimes would do it multiple times a day. I love that it was in my house. I didn't have to get dressed and go anywhere, not that I could but I really did love having it here, especially through lockdown. And then in May 2020, lockdown lifted and I started to see friends and family that I hadn't seen in months and they were commenting a lot on my body and I was like, what's going on? Like, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I have lost weight, I don't know. But I felt a little bit different in my clothes. I didn't really think that I lost a bunch of weight, but I decided to weigh myself and I was um, somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds lighter. You know, I was feeling really strong day to day. I was feeling good. I had a lot of energy. I wasn't thinking of the weight loss. To answer that question, no, my weight loss was not intentional. I did not buy my pole to lose weight. Uh, at this point, you're probably thinking, 130 pounds is a lot of weight to lose unintentionally. Is this a magic pole? What's going on here? And my simple answer is it wasn't just from pole dancing. I spent probably 70% of the time conditioning and 30% of the time spinning around the pole. I thought at the beginning, you know, if I can't lift my body weight, then I need to make my muscles stronger. So that was my plan moving forward and that is what I had to do a lot of the time. Hand in hand with practicing pole and conditioning was also intuitive eating. Um, intuitive eating is 10 principles that teach you how to get in tune with your body, what your body wants, what your body craves, what you need to fuel your body. Um, I highly recommend looking into it. I'll definitely be talking more about it. I went from a whole cycle of restriction when I was dieting to binge eating, restriction binge. I did that for literally nine years. So I was very out of tune with hunger and full cues. It was kind of just full binge before I found pole. So to sum that all up, 
No, I didn't try to lose weight by pole dancing. I don't think that my passion would have lasted if I was doing it to lose weight. I think that you really have to love pole dance to make it last because it is extremely difficult. But at the same time, it was also a lot of intuitive eating, um, healing my relationship with food, and going from a very sedentary lifestyle to a very active one. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm not more comfortable now or more capable or more energized, um, but I will say that I was comfortable before I lost all the weight that I did. Once I started moving my body and listening to my body, it made a huge difference. The weight loss was so something that was unimportant to me. I was really proud of my progress. I was proud of how strong I felt and I never felt strong before. Um, the weight loss was pretty low on the totem pole of how proud I was for myself but when I started sharing my journey it was pretty clear to me how intriguing the weight loss was for people. As an anti-diet person, I did come to terms with it um, because ultimately I don't really care how I share my love of pole or how I get other people to be interested in pole. If the weight loss is what gets somebody to try it, then I'm happy with that. I feel at peace with that. Um, I wish I had something like pole dance when I was younger because I don't think I would have struggled with my body the way that I did if I had an activity that I liked. So ultimately I am just really happy to get people to pole dance regardless of if it's from the weight loss or my progress or whatever. Anyways, thanks for listening to me share my journey with you. I'm happy to get this out because... It is something that's very hard to answer in a quick pe time period. I obviously can't go this in-depth uh, replying to people's comments on social media. Um, I hope that you're able to apply some of my journey to your own. And if there's anything that I didn't cover today, please leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to add it to um, a video in the future. Thank you for listening. Bye!